Welcome to the Full Throttle Saloon Project. Like this video, join our Patreon, and subscribe. Right now on Full Throttle Saloon. Are you okay? Oh, no. I'm getting married today. I'm worried about how he's going to handle it, because he's a very up and down dude. He's having an attack. <laughs> singing for the first time in front of a crowd. We don't have time. Jesse promised he would help out with this. So I can't hear her. You, you let her down. I'm more upset with you over that than I've ever been. It's totally counterfeit. The full throttle is stuck with thousands of bogus bills. Okay. Yep. Yep. It's got suspect in sight. Move, 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 move. on day three. It's Monday morning and I got here around 10 o'clock yesterday, just about 24 hours ago. She is now. It's so I'm gonna put her second, I'm gonna put her the second person in the engine. We're trying to implement a new system, and of course, there's going to be glitches. There's going to be things that are needing to be worked out. Me and Sean and some of the other uh, office managers are here till 7, 8, 9 in the morning. And if you're not back in time for shift change, it's OK. So I still have some bartenders that were upset last night. Some of them told me they weren't coming back. There are a number of girls that I've heard have already quit. I mean, it, it, you're tired, you know, once you're here for 14, 15 hours. I'm very tired. Last year, I let them go home, and then afterwards, there were so many discrepancies in their bags. By the time we called it, they were gone. They would be short $30, $80, 50 whatever, and I ended up losing on that deal. So this year, I said, I'm, I'm done with it. We have 125 teals to cash out, so it takes a while. That's oh, I'm tired. I'm pretty tired. My brain's just shutting down, and I'm just gonna go get some sleep, and I'll be back. Hey, who out there? Welcome to the Full Throttle Salute. Well, today is Monday. Molly Hatchet tonight. All kinds of stuff is gonna happen at the Full Throttle Salute. So where's Jesse? I need to go practice. So Brianna is a nervous wreck. I feel so freaking nervous. I'm gonna puke. She's making her big singing debut on the main stage tonight. I'm going to try to give her some pointers. You ready to go? If Flaunt is going to follow along with the throttle, then we got to step up our game. We need to bring in elements that Michael would never imagine us bringing in. When she first started this endeavor, she was like, oh, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't sing. And I'm like, no way, I'm, I quit Flaunt if you are not going to sing this. Are you going to be like Simon Cowell and tell me I suck? We got a big nut to crack. I'm gonna cry like a bitch tomorrow because we ain't never gonna do what we're supposed to do tonight. We're up against Def Leppard down the street tonight, so I'm concerned about how that's gonna fly. And I'm scared to death of it being like. So I'm nervous right now. Every year something comes up that we have to address and deal with. I mean, last year was that big corporate America coming in here trying to extort dollars out of the rally for the wrong reasons. You know, this year we've got the Buffalo Chip. You know, they're down the streets. They got one hell of a lineup, as they always do. We got a huge nut to crack tonight. But I mean, I don't know. We'll see what happens. But. So should, you, should I do it the mail in Monroe way? Jesse said, I can help her. I'm a rock star. I can give her that backbone. She can do it. I know she can do it. Something you call love, but confess. You got something for me. So then it goes into a country number where we're, yeah! I can dance. I could jump off a cliff. I could skydive, whatever. But when it comes to singing, it just like makes me freaking crazy nervous. You can't screw this song. But what if I get out there and go like this? I can't do it, and I run off stage. You keep saying you got something for me. Ah! I, I really need it now, bad man. I am stressed to the most I've ever been in my life right now. I'm getting married today <laughs> in a few hours. Hey, Liz, it's Rusty. Hey, what's, hey, what's going on? Not much. You you working? I need you. I need you now, right now. Just the stress of my truck, man, not being here. It just got here. My kitchens aren't up and running. I lost a couple people. I, I need to get as much help as I possibly can. What's going on, dude? Just a lot on my mind, a lot of worry. I got a lot on my plate, man. 
I need people. I'll give you one more. Well, I can't they're give gonna, you people because everybody quit on you because of the to live. I know that. Steve, I'm getting married in three hours, man. Four hours. Thanks, man. I'm trying to do it all. Hi, sweetheart. Trying to think about getting married at the same time of, of doing a first time rally. Rusty's got a lot of responsibility and we're working a lot of hours. So yeah, and then trying to do a wedding too. Okay, I love you. Ooh, I'll bye. see you at I'll bye. see you at four. Donc c'est la première fois que nous venons ici et nous trouvons que c'est formidable. On n'a jamais vu autant de motos à Les Davidson. Un autre Mercedes, c'est ça. Yeah. You want to help me later on tonight? I'm gonna give some people some free whiskey. Meanwhile, Michael's dealing with the fallout from Christy, the bartender they fired twice the day before. The throttle on Christy didn't match, so we just parted ways. And then Jesse goes and grabs her and brings her back and does a promo. How am I supposed to compete? So she was giving it away free. Well, Jesse came over. She told me they were pouring beer in cups and giving it to people. And so who's going to buy a beer from her if they can get a free beer right beside her? Jesse took the liberty of putting her back on a bar anyway, and she rang a whole $294. So good call there, Jesse. Give what away for free? Beer. We give Jesse, no beer they gave away Jesse J's beer last night for free. Who gave it away? You did. I didn't give no beer away. He she wasn't born so... giving away all that for No. Away. Hell no, I wasn't giving away Jesse James beer. I was giving away Jesse James whiskey. I had about three bartenders almost quit. Had that other girl up there selling our beer at 550 where it was supposed to be at, that girl would have rang a way higher till than the 294. So you just lost him money no. by doing that. No, yes, she, you did. She, I promise you did. About... There are people come up by that thing and that girl would take them and give them free beer. When I was out there, we didn't give away any free beer. And irregardless of that, the $294 doesn't make up for what that till should be making. Last year when Flaunt was there, the, our lowest till was like $1,200 or something like that, not $200. So, you know, what, whatever Princess Jesse needs, he can go ahead and, and, and take the liberty of doing, and he'll just have to answer to Michael. I'm, I'm finished worrying about it. You know what? <laughs> She's gone. That's fine. Just She's don't gone. Her on any She's more gone. Beer. I'm having to keep my distance from her because I can see that her fuse is, is little to none. And if you're not careful, the two of us are going to clash, and it's going to be the big pop. Today here at the Full Throttle, we've got the Horseback Street Choppers Bike Show. These are what they call backstreet garage built choppers. A lot of the parts that you're looking at are all hand built. You got to use your imagination a little bit. You just get your heart and soul in it, you know. Trying to find out, we're trying to work it out, okay? Some of the bartenders were chipping out their barbacks, so that was making the match. This system is a joke. Two barbacks quit. We're trying to find out. So Rocky kind of took that over. If you don't want to go to work here, then we gotta find somebody to replace you. I'm not getting work? paid, I'm not gonna work. The first night we worked, we got paid the next day. We only made like 25, 27 bucks tip money. Worked the next two nights, still haven't seen any tip money from those two nights, and they still don't have it together. We want to know that it's worth our time, you know what I mean? It'll be worth your time. Would you go to work for $25? <laughs> the bartenders don't tip us out. They already owe me for Saturday. We worked 14 <laughs> hours. What is going on? My this first job here was a bar back. I know. I know. Okay, right. so. I'm fixing it. Okay. I, tr I trust you. I'm, I'm on faith. Don't worry. Right. You're going to get paid. All right. Okay. All right. Punch it in. Go work. I'm right. fixing okay. it right now. Barback is probably the hardest job out here. You should be making $100 or more. So they were disappointed. They weren't getting their money. It was disorganized. So I'm more than willing to help with that. We'll see. I'm not going to work for free. I can't do that to myself, you know? Well, I need a body right now. My guy's upset. Okay. Another one bites the dust. All day, it's just been one thing after another. People are falling off left and right now. Barbacks, bartenders, we're getting smoked right now. Hopefully, and we'll get everything smoothed out, and we'll have a great show tonight. And I'm worried about the attendance, though. U.S. Marshal's here to see Michael. I'll be right there in the vendor gate. U.S. Marshals are here to see me.
U.S. Marshals here to see Michael. Up at the vendor gate. U.S. Marshals are here to see me. I'm concerned about it because you get a lot of great people, but you get them few bad people. Yeah. Hey, what's up? How y'all doing? Young man. Nice to see you. Glad to see you back. Yeah. In How you shape. doing? Tyler, you're right My there. partner, nice Tyler. You. Good to meet you guys. He's yeah. with the State Division of Criminal Investigation. All right, man. Good. There's a lot. There is bad people that come to this event. You've seen some counterfeit 10s and, and 20s already. Have you? Okay. So just have your people. I don't know what you're doing. Yeah, we've doing got pans and we're they're marking. So yeah, what they're doing is they're dyeing them. They're they're bleaching them and then dyeing them. And wow. if you hold them up, you can see that it, that it used to be a five or whatever. But huh. it's the perfect place for a counterfeiter to set up shop. All they have to do is pass over those big fake bills and they get back some real change. Thank you. I got the security on it now to start watching that. You know. So hopefully we're gonna catch them. Off to a rough start, just because I tease around a lot, and I don't think he gets my humor. Huh? Please make this move as possible. I am. Please. I... Okay. What do you need me to do? Just tell me. Just communicate. Honey, I need. Are you okay? No, I'm not. is uh, come in and pretty much took over my kitchen. Wait a minute. Have you had water? No. I'm... I've got something for you. I gotta manage all this, but I'm, I'm supposedly a nobody, and I'm not a manager. But I got, I'm getting it done. My mom died 11 years ago. She always told me she'd dance at my wedding. It's just, it's got a lot on my plate. Hey, you're not going to like the taste of this, but it's it's healthy. No, taste it. It's Accelerade. Yeah, I think he's just having a little bit of a stressful day. You know, he's getting married today. And uh, I think he's a little nervous about that. I'm on two hours to the rest. Okay. You'll be fine today. Yeah. Keep this drink it when you're done, give it back. All right. You'll be good. Some people handle it better. This is a lot of stress for him. Okay, me and this chick don't get along. Ursula? Yeah. I got Ursula, who's my new t-shirt manager. There's been a lot of confrontation back and forth with her and some of the other employees, because they've been here for a while now. She's kind of the boss and maintaining and running. It's hard for them to accept the fact that she's here new, and they've been here for these years. Okay, so the shop is done. She's overstocked in that stuff. I'm trying my hardest because she keeps pulling everybody that I have helping me away so that they can stock her stuff. Well, now she's got everybody in the satellite and the cabin's pulling stuff to put in the shop. I was like, it needs to stay in here. And she goes, it's my shop. I do what I want. That's not mm -hmm. how managers talk. She, she's yeah. like that to everyone. I do have a problem because it's her first year and she's learning about how we function. So that, that really shortens me up a lot. have been around for 10 years now. We are the sweethearts of the biker industry. I hope your favorite month is May. It is now. Let's ride. We walk around, we take pictures with everybody. I'm smiling, but just not really. <laughs> and we go-go dance all night. That's our favorite thing. We went on America's Got Talent. It was great being on America's Got Talent. We got great exposure. We miss doing the stage shows. That's our specialty. But since Angie came up with Flaunt, she got the stage now. We're a little bummed about it. Flaunt is on stage, and we love Flaunt. I'd love to have the Perfect Angels perform in front of Jackal on the Thursday night. It would bring that variety that we've been talking about. And I don't give a damn if Angie's little head explodes. What about this one? Most of the people that pass counterfeit money are dumbasses, and they eventually get caught. There she's ringing it, right, ringing right there. There's her register. I empowered all the security today to start watching all them guys, so that's happening pretty strong. Now, we can zoom in if we need to um, on these cameras. Right now on the property at Full Throttle, we're running pretty close to 30 cameras. The cameras that really are beneficial are the PTZ cameras that we can zoom in, and we can actually zoom in and read serial numbers on dollar bills. Circulate this mix at the front door when we start charging tonight. So we have officially hit code blue. We have got to track down who is responsible for distributing this counterfeit cash, and we got to do it quick before it ends up costing us some real money. Thank you. Um, Kaylin, 
go run this What's thing, going, Angie, go hurt Jody. Hold on, hold on. What's going on here? Why are we pulling shirts here? My this stuff is, gets this filled is ours. I am the retail manager, so we are having a little bit of confusion there. This needs to be done. This needs to be full to the max. That needs to be full to the max. That's all done. What's all done? The shop. No, the shop's not done. The shop is done enough. It has enough stuff. I've been here longer and she comes in and thinks she knows what she's doing and then she just messes everything up. This, this right here is what we got. Hey, this right here is what needs to be I'm done. I'm in charge of the t-shirts and the retail. So I say if it's done or not. Okay? <laughs> okay, well, I'm done with you. Okay. And then tries to tell me that she's more important than I am and it just doesn't fly. I just hope she gets fired. made the decision this year to set a recording studio up back in the back corner of the full throttle. So we can record a Jackal record and we can have a bar going. So I'm, I might as well just dub it Club Papow. Don, have you seen a sign that says Club Papow? Hey, Jesse, he's going down. He's having a heart What happened? Attack. He's having an attack. I opened the door to go into the back and it's, it's our kitchen manager, Rusty. <laughs> So I opened the door to go into the back, and it's it's our kitchen manager, Rusty. He's laid out. <laughs> Anything with sugar? You got sugar? Dump it under his car. Water. Do you need an ambulance? We're coming. Oh, you're coming out of it. Okay. Dude, you might need to clock out for the day. Got yes. I know, but <laughs> this is more important. I just ain't been eating right at that time. I just met Rusty this year, and he's already asked me to perform the marriage ceremony between him and his fiance. And now he's laid out here about dead. I know you think your job's really important. I mean, you want to do a good job for Michael, but you got to take care of yourself first. Because trust me, it's not worth it. I can't do this. I'm getting married in a couple hours, man. You're all right. You're all right. I've learned over the years you just pace yourself up here. You can only do what you can do. It's not worth driving yourself into the down for it. This is my first year here. Yeah. And I'm promoted. I'm demoted. Yeah. But you know what? I'm the man that everybody comes to. Yeah. I got no help. Yeah, I hear you. We're all in that same boat. But here, listen to me. We got six more days to this. If you don't slow down and pace yourself, you're not going to make it. See, this one is normal. It's a good counterfeit. Who knows? Michael could have already been stuck with thousands of bogus bills, and he don't even know it. I mean, that. Really, really, really close. When our bartenders are handed anything over a $10 bill, they, they need to, to check it with the counterfeit pen. They're passing counterfeit fives in the bar. Right. It's actually a pretty good one. And in some cases, if it doesn't feel like a dollar bill, even if it is just a $1 bill, they need to be using that pen. They are passing counterfeit fives in the bar today. That's a counterfeit, OK? This is a real one right here. This counterfeit guy just needs his ass whooped. And end the story, that's the way I feel about that dude. And if I ever get the opportunity to corner that son of a bitch up, I promise you he's gonna get cornered up. Is this my stuff? That's your stuff. All right. We doing a cover charge? Yes. Yep. Every, night. Every night except Thursday. Perfect. OK. And I don't know night, that Thursday, yet. Thursday, right? Do it. Just let's do it across the board. Every night. Th every night. We said we were going to do it on Ted Nugent night, and I thought that was going to be it. I mean, he knows that I mean, Thursday night it can't happen. That's jackal night. Uh-oh, Princess Jessie might get mad. Jesse does not want a cover charge on his night. However, I'm not even going to tell him. Jesse may get pissed off about it, and I'm sure he will, but at the same time, we got to make money. Look at what we got to crack tonight. You're 
crazy. Hey, you gonna let me race that thing today? I race it right in. No, come on now. He's showing me this badass bike that he builds, and he said I could go and ride it. What time are we gonna go over and do it? About six o'clock. I'm gonna actually get to race one of those badass dirt track bikes around the Sturgis Motor Speedway over there. You and me, the winner circle. All right. Chicks, champagne, oh, <laughs> cha-ching, the money. Yeah. We built this about 15 years ago, and it's our 53rd wedding anniversary. And be in Sturgis for our 53rd. She's got her flowers. I tell you who's getting married is some of the full ball swing family. It's Rusty and Debbie. Yay! Yay! Don't get annoyed. You know, being, being, that, uh, being that this is full throttle in all of its glory, and you know, when Rusty and his wife seem to be open-minded to, uh, you know, to, you know, pushing the limits for their their wedding ceremony. At this time, I'd like for you to share your vows with your bride to be, Debbie. Debbie, I've waited 42 years to find a woman like you. You're my heart, you're my soul, and I want the whole world to know you're the only woman for me. I love you. I love you. I offer you this ring as a symbol of my love. Rusty, I offer this ring as a symbol of my love. And it ain't going up. <laughs> I don't want to go on. It ain't going up. I love you. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Ow! Cha-ching! There we go. Congratulations, you two. Thank you so much. Congratulations, guys. They took me into this family at Full Throttle Saloon. Uh, I've had my ups and downs since I've been here. I'm sure there's going to be a few more before it's over. Fun. This is the one that we caught. The girl actually marked it. Hell, it's already taken all night long to cash these girls out. If they've got to start looking for counterfeit bills, this is going to be a real mess. And there may be another problem. Barbacks are getting pissed off. It was just guys coming in and working hard, going to bar to bar, not getting their tip outs. They're probably all feeling pretty right now. If I don't have some money in hand, by 10 o'clock, I'll hand you my shirt. Sweated, dirty, and gross. Well, my outfit was inspired by Full Throttle. This place freaking rocks, and I gotta bring it every year. <laughs> yeah, Sturgis. Tonight is the first night that Bree's gonna be singing. They don't have any PA set up. Jesse promised he would help out with this. This is what what he does because the sound is just for the mic on the that part. We can't really just wing it. And he knows all of this technical stuff that needs to go on, and he's nowhere to be found. Big Hall of Fame, there's our phone needs to father, Matthew Hoyle and lovely Pearl. Wow. What an honor it is to have the Jack Pine Gypsies invite me to come down and personally kick off their annual races for the rally. I mean, this is where Pappy and Pearl Hoyle started this entire thing 71 years ago. I am standing on hallowed ground. Look at that roll of bikes, man. Mega big tease. It's difficult to get up on that stage and be confident in the performance that you're going to do. We've sent him text messages, we've called him. When we need him the most, we can't find him. Coming up. You let her down. Angie and Jesse battle over Brianna. It's time for Brianna to put on her big girl panties and go out there and stand on her own. Plus. You know what he looks like? The throttle goes all out to catch a counterfeiter. Oh, that's, that's him right there. Yep. Fit Cash has turned up a different problem in the t-shirt store. 
potentially there's, there's some tips that are missing also. What do you mean tips? Tips for what? They're not bartenders. Why is there tips? They were saying tips. That was the word hey, they were there's no me. tips in t-shirts. I'm going to be certain. so livid if there is. It says it right in their fan book. The t-shirts, not just the main store, but all of our outlets, everything, it's out of control. The best part about coming out to Sturge is it's one huge party, man. Who wouldn't want to come out here and hang out? We have no tips in t-shirts. It always causes problems. There's different girls working the registers that go from the floor to the register, and so they think that they should get more, and they don't know what percentage, how to divide it up, and it's all just a big mess. It's totally not worth the little bit of tips that I have to try to divide. Every single one of them has it. It says it right in the handbook. Where's it at? They're going to tell you that they didn't get a handbook. They were in orientation. And Ursula knows that not to do it. Why wasn't she taking care of it? You know, with Mama not being in the mix of all the t-shirts, it's out of control. She's the one that knows all the ins and outs of everything. And, and it's just a mess this year without Mama. And what I had told them, just so you know, is that they were allowed to have tip jars. I didn't know any differently. My mom used to run a t-shirts forever, as you know. Yeah. She let them start doing tips. Yeah. Them. And then they started fighting over that tip. So she finally just said, holy are you kidding me? So she just went, okay. no more tips. Okay, okay regardless of that, but before you make a decision like that, I need you to come check with us. track like that before. I mean, when they're flat like that, there's really a whole nother arch to sliding your rear end around. We go on at 9.25 tonight, guys. Brianna is singing for the first time in front of a crowd, and I'm sure other people out there know how much courage it takes to get up in front of people like that. My dad's back here, so I'm so excited for the show tonight. I Really, really worked really hard on the singing part. Brandy, pretty on the sing, so I need to make sure there's a hot mic right over here. We were supposed to do a run through. Jesse got here on the mic. Didn't end up happening. We don't have time. We're ready to go out on stage. No, Jesse. This is America. I'm celebrating America this year, and this is a great American sport flag track race. Do you have one? We're having issues backstage and, and things that he really could have helped out with, and he was just not there. Is that fine? Everything needs to come together, or this will be a disaster. texting Jesse to um, get them two hooked up. But Jesse wasn't up there, so it kind of seemed, you know, like a slow start to the whole show and everything. We get further into the show, and Brianna is singing for the first time in front of a crowd. Yeah. 
so they didn't have her mic on. She's up there singing, and then it kind of fell apart from there on. It's like my first time on stage singing and... No one could find him. I mean, I really feel like Jesse let Brianna down. It just took a lot for me to do it because I was so nervous. It was sad that it didn't go right. Tips, we had your tips. I'm like, okay, what's what's what? What's good? I made $58. We're counting these girls' tips out all day to make change, so I know what they're making. Guys, you quit, man. Let's stop on it. Their system is so flawed and up. It's not working. Where I'm from, it's show me love or don't show me. I gave them their chance. I'm gonna turn my shirt in so I can charge for it. And uh clock out if possible because this makes sense. You got it. You have been punched out. Out. How are we doing? We've had uh, two guys quit in the last probably hour. Barbacks? Barbacks. Yeah. They're just not getting tipped out at all. The bartenders right? were not tipping their barbacks out correctly, and that really made me mad because they're the reason you're making the money you are because they're keeping you stocked with all the damn ice and beer. If they're not going to tip them out, then we'll just start taking our tip money. And we'll start hashing out our tip, their tip money if we have to. I know it's going to be a long process, but that's because we got bartenders lined up out the door that want to work here. But you know, we need our bar backs. You're supposed to f tip. This place, man. Ladies and gentlemen, Molly Hatchin. memorable for us, so I figured yeah. I'd do it up here. It was perfect. We, we got engaged at the full time Yeah, the Perfect Angels is here. Man, them girls are awesome. They've been on the bars dancing and everything, but I, I don't think they brought enough girls to get on the main stage when it was only three of them that came. What are you gonna do with flaunt? We should let the Angels have it one night. What do you think? I don't know if they brought all the girls to do all their stuff. Well, they didn't, then that killed well, I don't know. I'm just saying, I don't, I don't know that they brought the girls to do routine. They come to pole dance. So I don't know what girls they got to put on a show show. You know what I mean? This sucks. If the Angels only brought three girls, then my plan to put them up on that main stage is going into the I mean, at this point, we're stuck with the flaunt girls for better or for worse. I got him coming right now. So I was selling shots, and this guy handed me a $100 bill for a $6 shot. So I gave him $94 back of my real money. And turns out the $100 bill was fake. Okay, 
take a look at this guy over in the main bar. Yeah, he's right there. Okay, I think Pat may have eyes on the guy. That's not him, Flat. Looking for a young guy wearing a hoodie. We went back to the main bar looking for him. I jumped up on the bar, walked the whole perimeter. I was seriously a nervous wreck when I found out it was fake. So I was like, if this comes out of my pocket, I'd be severely mad. I just looked around through the main bar, nothing. It's kind of an adrenaline rush when something like that happens. I guess that a part of me was like, okay, what about that money? Like, you owe me a hundred bucks of not counterfeit money. One of our shot girls got past a counterfeit hundred. She was out in the field when they passed it to her, so it was kind of dark. She couldn't really tell. Checked it. The girls at the bar checked it. They said it was good. It... Okay, I'm gonna need two chairs. We went into the security room, started panning the crowd. And he's about six one, six two, dark hair. He was hair. tall. He was wearing like a navy blue yeah, hoodie. He looks like that. Okay. Skinny, uh, fat. Skinny, skinny really skinny. skinny. It no. looks like this kid right here. Kind of like this dude. Oh, that's, that's him, him right there. Yep. Okay, where's, back up, tell me where he's at. He is. Where's your radio? All the way back. Yep, that's he's him for sure. He's moving fast, ain't he? Yep. Where's he headed toward? Chris, you got a copy? Pat, you Andrew got a copy? Just went under the Jägermeister sign. It's right heading heading toward Andrew Land. Land. Chris, you got a copy? Got a counterfeit hundred, I, and I got suspect in sight. I need you over here by Andrew Land. Chris, you got a copy? Uh, got a counterfeit hundred, uh, and I got suspect in sight. I need you over here by AG Land. Whoa, 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 whoa! Hey, there, you gotta come with me. Why's that? Come on. What'd I do? Come on. I don't get hold my own. I'm not scared of that kind of. This guy didn't scare me at all. We got a counterfeit hundred on you. Turn really? Up. There's two hundreds I got from the bank. What's that? What do you got right there? There's another hundred. In there. Let's just get on out. Look, get his money. Let's go over to the office. And that's when we took the change from the first hundred dollar bill, and I found the other hundred dollar bill in that. Hang him right here until I get back. Put your hands up against the gate, please. Yeah, it's totally counterfeit. I'm not gonna do nothing. I know you're not gonna do nothing. That's why I'm holding on to you. Stay right there. I'm not running nowhere. This one's hot too. It did. Look at the difference in it. Oh right yeah, there. right here. Let's just say this is the yeah. bill. This is not this one. This is a good yeah. one. This is the bill. We got. You want me to call the police? Yeah, this yeah. one's fake too. Okay, put your hands behind your back, man. Oh come on, dude. Yeah. Come on, dude. Where you Put the hand behind your back. I work here, just, dude. Just, I've been busting my ass off outside, dude. I would not do this, dude. Unfortunately, the guy was one of my parking lot guys that worked on the far end of the property. So go figure, you know. Why would you do that? I didn't do it. There's no way that you would have two of these that not know about it. Tell you the truth, man. Man, you're printing money. Dude, I work for you, dude, but I would not do that. I'm you just know, saying, there's two of, there's two right here. I got them and come what? out of your pocket. Yeah, it's pretty stupid to be passing counterfeit bills anyway, much less the place that you work at. That's his cash. We leave that to the investigators. Right, um, as far as I know, counterfeit money is a federal offense. He's going to jail. Sucks for him. Boy, that's nobody here tonight. It's slow tonight, ain't it? Pretty thin out there tonight. Tonight, I, I didn't feel it in the back. It was just it was a soft day. And we had Molly Hatch. Molly Hatch played here a lot of times. Um, so maybe that could be a piece of it. Oh, it's really soft tonight. And Mondays are not always the greatest days anyway, you know what I mean? Def Leppard whooped our ass. The Chip did have Def Leppard tonight. I know there was a lot of people wanting to go see Def Leppard. They, they guys are put on a great show, so I'm sure they had a pretty decent crowd tonight. What up? How about you, buddy? How you doing? How are you doing? Just like, like, you know, just like the start. I'm, uh, I'm uh, right, just tired. We got married. I had to go right to work. I'm trying to get out of here. It's been a little time with my wife tonight. I heard you got, you got married, huh? Yeah, I wish you would. Uh, I know. 
I'll tell you how hard I do work. These were brand new shoes two months ago. There they are. Falling apart. It's how much I run. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the entire staff right here at the Baltimore Saloon, we want to say thank you so very much for coming out and joining your Monday night right here with us. Unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have to ask you to make your way towards the front door. Tim Newton on stage tomorrow night. Don't forget your Throttle Let's Fest go, tickets. Go, go. Have a beautiful night. Remember, don't do anybody I wouldn't. I'll get you guys a copy of one of these new songs that we've done. We all work up a routine for some video stuff with it. I have to talk to Brianna about that. I don't think she wants really anything to do with you right now. You totally let her down. You know, I haven't seen Jesse since before he stood Brianna. I can't hear her. It's like my first time on stage singing. And... I'm still spitting nails. That's the very first time she's ever sang on a stage. Ever. And she was totally relying on you because you were like, I can help you with this, Bree. I never committed. I told her we'd have yeah, to see. Yeah, she even like, said, I, you even sent her a text. I saw it myself. You need to be here at 5. We'll practice at 5. I told her we'd try to do it around 5. If I had set a time to work with Brianna on her singing, I would have been there at that time. But we never set a time. I just told her that we'd make it work. And then I got tied up across town. I'm spread so thin this week. I mean, hell, I can't get to everything. I'm serious. I told her we, we tried. Totally let they you know. they what were what you running. have to do is be accountable. I got stuck on the other side of town by the time I got back don't over. Don't tell people you're going to be there for them and then not be there. I mean, I'm not going to be out on tour with the flock girls holding her damn microphone. It's time for Brianna to put on her big girl panties and go out there and stand on her own. Don't lead her on the whole freaking week saying, I can help you, Brianna. I, did, I, did. I am a rock star. I know how to sing on stage. I know what we need to do here. <laughs> and then string her out. It's not. I, Funny. I'm not laughing that about that. So I'm saying horrible. when you talk about it, many, you, horrible. you have no you... idea what that meant to her. She had her dad come in everything, and you <laughs> let her down. I I'm so livid at you. I'm more upset with you over that than I've ever been. Next time on Full Throttle Saloon. Oh, Things get ugly. I'm going to get my ass handed to me. And Ted Nugent may not take the stage. You don't take care of this. What is going on? You're not convincing me that you're not mad. Jesse's still feeling the heat. Angie probably won't forgive me. There's the text right there. And... Let me down. The pressure finally breaks Rusty. Call 911 immediately. Right now on Full Throttle Saloon. Oh, oh f our stage just knocked out Nugent's bus driver. The staff and Ted Nugent's crew get off on the wrong foot. I'm gonna get my ass handed to me. This year's biggest attraction threatens to walk. Scott, do not f us out of this Ted Nugent concert tonight. You're not convincing me that you're not mad. Jesse's still feeling the heat. Angie probably won't forgive me. There's the text right there. And right now, Jesse's. Call 911. Hours before Tuesday's performance, Ted Nugent's crew has arrived and trouble's already started. You want, you want some of me, you little bitch? Hey. I am, I am. Don't talk. He's a badass. Let me get my boots on. I'm gonna come back. Well, you're gonna get man. some. You're gonna find out who the badass is. You are. I'm telling you, dude. You need to quit running. You and wipe your head. You can go the away. Why, you man? Why? Our stage guy just knocked out Nugent's bus driver. You're still a damn old. Well, what's up, Full Throttle Saloon? We got Ted Nugent on the main stage today, my friends. Yay! Ted Nugent. Holy crap. Now we're starting to make some money. <laughs> so did you hear Randy Crowder knock that dude's tooth out? Ted Nugent's truck driver mouthed off at Randy last night. Ted Nugent is one of the largest bands we've had at the Throttle. One of my guys knocked out his truck driver last night. 
and the last thing I need them to do is for him to call Ted and Ted not show up here tonight and then pull the plug on the whole thing. That could be a complete disaster for tonight. It's kind of like Brett Michaels last year. Ted Nugent is this year, and I can't afford for anything to go wrong. That's uh, my wedding ring. I can't, don't want to get it dirty, so I put it on my neck. And I've never had a ring on his finger in my life, and he's got my knuckles swollen up and sore so bad. I asked my wife, "Is okay if I wear it right here today?" Rusty spending his first full day of married life at the Fajita Shack. Fantastic. Yes, you are. You're doing a great job. Everybody in here, at the end of every shift, can tell them how much I love them and appreciate how much work they did. I got a hell of a crew here. They work their ass off, man. They sweat. I mean, last night they made my job easy. All right, Scott, we're ass backwards from where we were supposed to be. So I'll wake up this morning, I open the door, and what I see, I see our sound guys have not moved the tractor trailer that they needed to move so Ted could get in. Ted's tractor trailer sitting up at the top of the hill. He's ready to come down, can't get into place. So we gotta take care of that. Ted Nugent's guy sitting right here, ready to go. You're gonna move the inside trailer over there, right? Yeah. Okay. And then when you're done with that, can we move this, uh, the, this rig out by wherever you're parking this too? Yeah. All right. So I think Scott may already be checking out on us. He doesn't seem to be as keyed up as he usually is about getting things done. We could have gotten a two-day jump on all of this had Scott just listened. Now we're playing catch-up from the get-go. Man, I'm going to strangle that dude. They're actually trying to get you more loaders to be here, and they're on an Air Force base, and they're volunteers. And there's no reason for him not to have everything high and tight. He definitely doesn't respect that this is going to be a huge show. I don't know what to tell you. I was trying to make your schedule. My loaders were supposed to be here by noon, and Ted Nugent's tour manager, he's very unhappy that they had to wait before we could even strike their truck, which I understand. They're not here yet, and that's what I have. I don't use anything. That's not, that has nothing to do with me. I'm use, I use what's provided. The production manager kind of busted my balls a little bit. Um, he's working with me, but he's letting me know that he's not happy with it. I know that that guy's going to bust your balls he all is. day long. There's going to be a bunch of with that guy. Yeah, he's a bulldog. He's being nice, but when something is wrong, he's <laughs> he's in he's in my face. Well, they're the... scared to death of Ted's what it is. They're all in fear for their job, so he wants to, they come in and out with no glitches. Those guys, you know, the last thing they want to do is have Ted chew in their ass, and you know, especially when he's packing that nine millimeter. All right, thank you. Hello. Rihanna, you and I have got something to talk about. So Angie has already jumped my ass because she says I let Bree down not making it to the rehearsal yesterday. I can't hear her. It's like my first time on stage singing in. I've got to talk to Bree, and I've got to remind her that I never promised her that I could for sure be there. Yesterday, whenever you and I were going back and forth, you said, can we do this this afternoon around 5? And I said, we'll have to see what the schedule is because I don't know they're running late with sound check and stuff, right? You told me that we were going to go through it at some point before the show, correct? You and I didn't have anything firm locked down. You I said, we can't get you on the stage for some reason. We're still going to go through it before you go on. You know what? Brianna is just learning that hard lesson that in show business, things don't always go as planned. All uh, right, well, well, let's just get on it and we'll make next and we'll get past this. And I'm gonna chew dude man's ass. If your microphone had been working, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Sorry, thank you. All right, man. <laughs> what now? I just gotta get them ice and water from the pool. Is Angie there? I have not seen her. Cause I'm in the doghouse to have it, I mean, I'm keeping my distance from Angie right now. There's a miscommunication, and I guess Angie's pissed at me because I didn't do a rehearsal with Bree. All right. 
When I'm trusting him with my friend's heart and he doesn't show up, I'm on fire. Like, I had fire coming out of my eyeballs. I was so upset. I'm more upset with you over that than I've ever been all combined over the last few years. That was her very first time of being on stage. There's no going back and making that better. You can't make that up. Jesse, I'm so f I did not do it intentionally. It'd be, it'd be it breaks my heart that that happened to her. She was splitting the vocals with that other girl, and y'all worked it on stage the other night. I mean, there she was There was no like microphone. Several days she has waited, come early, and wait come early and waited for you to help her with that stuff. If the guys screwed up with her microphone, I would have been controlling that anyway. I don't care what you're trying to say right now. You, in your heart, knew she was counting on you for this. I'm sorry for the mis miscommunication. Angie's oh, looking for any excuse she can just to crawl down my throat. I'm having to keep my distance from her because I can see that her fuse is little to none. My name is Paul Yaffe. I have a company called Paul Yaffe Originals and Bagger Nation. And uh, we're here today putting on the baddest bagger in Sturgis show. Uh, bagger is uh, basically a touring bike with saddlebags on it. And a few years ago, we started customizing them and giving them kind of a chopper attitude. This is where the bikes are going these days, you know? Choppers are still a good thing, but now it's all baggers. I just wanted something different, you know? It's enough room for a chick's purse, you know? You gotta think of the chicks, you know? This is cool, man. Baggers are gonna be here to stay. Paul built me a brand new bike, and uh, he's kind of a badass, so I'm looking forward to getting out and getting my hands on it. I get a chance to make some money. I'm so excited. Full throttle rocks! <laughs> I psych myself up. Here Thomas just fell out. One of our employees fell. It sounded like a heart attack. Boom! Boom! Yeah. Boom, 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 boom! Thomas just fell out. Boom, 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 boom. Thomas just fell out. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom! She was getting ready to cut me some beef up for my fajitas. I come in there. Here's his legs spread out like this, bent over face first in the floor, still holding that pack of beef. Now, I don't need an ambulance. Dude, you were out cold. Oh, All right. I'm a little dizzy. I got kind of the headache going. I called 911. I got it. Steve was going. One of our employees fell. It sounded like a heart attack, so I came running. When you're working back here, especially he's a cook, those guys are hot. It's almost like an athletic event. You've got to be in shape for it. Let's help walk him to the ambulance. I'm good, man. I can stand up. I know, but I want to walk beside you, buddy. OK. You all right, man? You scared the out of me. Sorry about that, man. Man, scared the hell out of me. He's a good worker, man. Good hard worker. I got a hell of a crew here. They work their ass off, man. We're working these hours, we're working, man. It's just it's vicious. Thomas, I love you, man. All right, man. Thanks a lot. Man. Right on. We're live at the throttle once again, and it is almost time for Ted freaking Nugent. The first concert I ever went to was Ted Nugent, you know? And it's always been one of my idols, and uh, and he's a great friend, too. That's the coolest in the world. We're going to have some antelopes off the grill. We got the grill. Ted's bringing the meat, the guitars, and the rock. It's going to be loud. It's going to be awesome. Ted Nugent tonight at the Bull Throttle Salute. How many loaders have we, are there just the one here so far? Yeah. We've been using the military volunteers to help load the equipment in and out every single day. And Scott's been coordinating that. Yeah, they're all supposed to be here at 1 o'clock. That's what time it is. All right, well, um. The guys are going to snatch up a few regular guys. He wants 10 loaders. Well, then, make a phone call. Tell him we need some garbage toters, dog. I don't know how he dropped the ball today, but now we don't have any help in getting Ted Nugent's gear onto the stage. Hey, James, do we have an ETA of when our military help is going to be here? Because I'm getting my ass chewed up not having loaders here at noon, so. He's going to call me back. We've upped the level of talent by booking Ted Nugent this year. Now Scott Bussey better up his level of effort and get this together no matter what it is. I guess everybody's looking at me just saying, I don't know what to tell you. Go figure it out. I, I, I can't figure everything out, man. I'm going to get my ass handed to me. We're rounding up garbage people. That's going on right this second, but I'm still, I'm still like four or five people short. Basically, we're